Hello Skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here and today I wanted to talk about the Good Mythical Morning uh, live stream that they did uh, on November 19th. It was so incredible. Like I remember, I, I'm not one to watch live streams. I usually am never are. The only live stream that I've really watched like consistently was the creep is the creepy pasta uh, mix uh, mix Mr. Creepy Pasta live stream that he does the 24 hour non stop horror radio thing. That's what I watch. Typically, other than that, I won't watch a live stream. However, Good Mythical Morning did a live stream um, on like on the 19th, and it was incredible. They had announced it the week before, so I was kind of like, oh, should I watch it? Should I not watch it? And then the night before, I was like, you know what? I'm actually going to give it a shot and watch it because I think it'll actually be, like, a really cool thing to experience. So I got up. I literally planned this out the night before. I was going to get up at 8.30. I was going to, you know, do kind of like my morning thing. I was going to use the restroom, and then I was going to, um, you know, brush, well, I usually brush my teeth before the shower, before showering, because I have this thing called uh, Perio Gel, which I used to help with my gum inflammation. So I technically didn't brush my teeth yet, but <laughs> you know, who was I trying to impress today? So I got up, I went to the bathroom, I washed my hands, I made breakfast, and I was on the 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 waiting for the live stream. So there was like a picture, and you could still donate, you could still talk to people, but the live stream technically hadn't started yet. And then 9 o'clock hit, and they still hadn't started it up. It said, waiting for Good Mythical Morning. And it was funny because a lot of people in the chat, including myself, were like, where is it? Why hasn't it started? You know, I mean, I didn't exactly type that. But I was like, oh, they're kind of taking their time here. So then finally at around 9.03, the, the live feed officially starts. And I felt like I kind of reiterated this, and I did type this in the chat. I felt like, I, I felt like those n days where I'm going to Disneyland. I felt so excited and so happy for this live stream at that point that when it happened, I was just so ecstatic going into it. I couldn't wait to see the segments they were going to do. And I'll admit, the segments they did were completely awesome. It was amazing to watch. Like, they had never done a live Good Mythical Morning show. I think they've gone maybe live for some of their, like, um, live performances, like when they go out and do, like, the, the, the paid events. But they had never done a Good Mythical Morning live show like they did today. And it was completely amazing. Like, they didn't just do stuff for themselves. Like, they didn't just keep it in the studio. They had Josh and Nicole doing their thing with the Good Mythical Kitchen. And even some past um, crew members came on to help, like, to relive this moment. To help them, you know, to help them, like, get, like, to... to boost like the views and to like also get like the charity the charity out there and it was so amazing and I will admit I donated five dollars to the charity I think it was um an art school for uh, for inner city kids and I even bought a t-shirt to help support too it was like a specifically made t-shirt for for the stream so one one thing that uh almost literally brought me to tears was when they brought back Alex and Mike I think his name is Mike no Alex and I think it's Alex and Mike yeah and I remember seeing them, like, back when I was in, like, college, and I, like, binge-watched the show, and I remember them being on there and, like, having the, like, best dynamic duo team next to, I think her name's Emily and this one other guy. They're, like, straight-up comedians. You know, they would always, like, just make, a, like, make the show really nice. It was always nice seeing them and a lot of the crew members actually come on and help, you know, Rhett and Link out with, with whatever segments they were doing that day for GMM. And they, did, they didn't do any Willits. Sadly, but they do. They, they did do some taste tests. They did like a mystery banana taste test. They did. Um, Josh made them like lunch, but I was like only halfway paying attention to some of the stuff because I was also getting stuff done for this channel at the same time. So multitasking. But they also brought on. Uh, Rhett brought on his son Shepard, and then Link brought on Lando, which he is ten years old now, and it made me so happy because I remember when GMM actually showed an episode of Lando, well not Lando's birth, but we were introduced to Lando as a baby on GMM. And it was really cool and like seeing him 10 years later, he's grown up so much and it's absolutely insane. It was so cool seeing him. Um, a couple segments I didn't particularly like, but that's just because they're not my thing. You know, a lot of people just like they have a, uh, a YouTuber that they always watch and sometimes they just don't like some of the content that they release because, you know, you're not going to like 
every single thing that the the person you watch is, is going to release. And the one thing that I didn't particularly like, um, especially back then, was the Song Biscuits. And it was the Mail on Thursdays with Jen. And I, you know, and it's not that I didn't really, you know, it's not that I don't like the people involved. It's just the segments themselves weren't for me. You know, some I just like specific things. And I'm kind of picky when it comes to specific things. And it's not just them. It's a lot of other YouTubers. Like the ASMRists I watch, I won't watch it if they eat something sweet. I'll watch only watch if they eat something savory. It's just something picky with me. But um, other than those two things, it was really cool to watch. And the ending, they like improv some songs for us to say thank you, which was really nice. By the end of it, I do believe that they made um, over $350,000 for the charity. And that was including the t-shirt uh, sales, which was so cool. I mean, you know, they would always say like, oh, if we want to do this segment, we got to reach this, this milestone or this milestone or this milestone. And some of the, the amounts that these people were donating were unbelievable. Like, I just donated $5 because I don't really want to push my limit on, you know, affordability. So I only donated five bucks. Some people were donating 50 bucks, a hundred bucks. In fact, YouTube themselves actually came on at one point and donated $50,000. Some people were donating $2,000. And these were like normal people, not YouTube. Like they were, these were like normal people. Some were donating like $500. I'm like, where do you people have this kind of money? Like, are you actually hardworking people or are you like 12 year olds stealing mommy and daddy's credit cards and just secretly typing in the numbers hoping they won't notice that $800 is missing? Like seriously, like it, it baffled me. But I mean, this is all going towards a good cause. So no matter where the money came from, it's going towards a good cause. Now granted, if it was like 12 year olds stealing mommy and daddy's credit cards, they'll have to deal with the punishments when when it actually comes so we'll have that they'll they'll deal with that on their own but the it was so amazing and when they were saying the goodbye because i was i was watching the time as i was watching the live stream because again i had gotten up at 8 30 just so i could watch this live stream that started at nine o'clock my time pacific time when the time started kind of getting less and less and less because the one of the last segments they did other than the singing was they turned link into a life-size street corn which included like uh, cotija cheese, it included like lime and actual corn bits, it included um, chili powder, it included, it included a lot, it included mayo, butter, and he had to go take a shower. So we were kind of just sitting there and I heard, I was hearing Link shower, I didn't actually watch that segment, I don't know if, how far up the camera was or how far down the camera was, but I'm sure it was in good taste. But as soon as they were kind of coming to a close, it kind of just hit me that this is going to be over soon. And granted, they went over the time a little bit. They went over by about 18 minutes, which is fine. But I'm kind of watching this. I'm like, I don't want it to end because I know once it ends, that's it. I feel like, again, again, I just feel like a kid who had gone to Disneyland who, or who was like waking up to go to Disney. Because every time I'd wake up to go to Disneyland, I would be so excited. I'd be like uh, planning my outfit. I'd be planning my makeup, my jewelry, everything. And then I'd be out the door exactly at 7 o'clock waiting in line at 7.30 just to get my ass, one of my ass, just to get my ass through the parking lot and be one of the first ones to, you know, go to the gates. You know, that wasn't a hotel member, which, you know, that tended to happen a lot. But that's how I felt. And usually when I come home from Disney, I'm always so like exhausted and just done with the day and I just kind of want to go to bed and just forget about the next day. But in this case, when the live stream was ending, I was so sad. I felt like, I felt empty for a minute. I felt like there was nothing else for me to do for the day because that took up most of my day. So when I kind of was done with it, I'm like, well, what the hell am I supposed to do now? I mean, yeah, I was going to film for you guys. That was like my initial plan for today. But then I was like, I was like, what am I supposed to do with my day? You know, like, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to feel? But it's all in good fun. And I really hope that GMM does another live stream where the proceeds go to another charity, which, you know, I know they're, they're in partners with um, the, inter the, the school, the art school. But I'm hoping they could do other charities that also, you know, need help in raising money as well. One of my favorite charities, just because I'm a little bit biased, is a, a char the charity for St. Jude Hospital, just because I was born at St. Jude's. And I always love showing my support for St. Jude's, especially because they really help with uh, kids in cancer care. So that's one charity that I love uh, seeing people donate to. But 
I would, I've never, I mean, I, there's probably other YouTubers I follow who did the same thing. I know Markiplier's done charity live streams, but I, I'm so hoping that GMM hopefully makes this, like, a tradition, like, a monthly live stream where they pick someone to donate to, and they just do random stuff. Like, they said in the beginning that this was a lot of work for the Mythical crew to do, and I could completely agree that this is a lot of work for the Mythical crew to do. Because they have to set up an entire eight hour live stream with constant segments. So I mean, I think they can do it again. I just think it would also need a lot more prep work. But I think for sure this won't be the last live GMM episode that they do. And I just really felt the need to talk about it. Like I I didn't put this as a chatting skeletons episode just because I felt like it was something I needed to talk about like today. Like, some stuff with the chatting skeletons I'll put on because it doesn't necessarily need a date to be talked about. If that's the case, I'll always, like, post about it, like, that day. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit. It was very nice seeing all the segments. It was nice seeing old segments that had been taken off. And it was so nice just to kind of reflect on what GMM once was and kind of looking to see how it is now. And that in itself was actually a really nice experience. So... And if any of you watch the live stream, let me know what your favorite segment was in the comment section down below. Mine personally would have to be probably seeing Link get turned into a street street corn on the cob. That was that was pretty awesome. So I thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye little skeletons, stay safe, and I love you guys.